Back in 2019, out of frustration, I stopped using Liquid Text and moved to Marginote. A lot has changed since then. So let's look at whether Liquid Text is worth going back to in 2023. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. We've talked about backup a lot on this channel because backup is very important for your notes. Sadly, in 2023, Liquid Text still doesn't have backup, manual or automatic. Liquid Text 5.5 integrates backing up into the syncing feature, but we still prefer an independent backup, one that allows us to backup our notes to a cloud service of our choice. Liquid Text finally gave us syncing across multiple devices, and they didn't limit that to the Apple ecosystem. But syncing came at a hefty subscription price. It's honestly not for everyone. We had a lot of hope for Liquid Text when it launched its syncing feature, but syncing hasn't been the best experience in Liquid Text. I've always struggled syncing with Liquid Text. My devices went for months without syncing. Probably it was just me, but my experience with that hasn't been the smoothest. And what is especially frustrating is that the iPad version of the app is the one that's struggling to sync the most. When charging a subscription for syncing, it really must work. Most PDF readers slow down with too many or large documents if you're using an iPad. And this is something we experience in Margin Note as well. And any other PDF reader that we've tried so far, it lags at some point. In Liquid Text, the application has improved its document loading time. It now opens and closes projects in record time, which improves the general user experience in the app. Liquid Text 5.5 brought one of the biggest and most needed upgrade to how the application organizes our work. Multiple workspaces mean we don't need to duplicate PDFs anymore. For example, for my biology project, I have all my topics and their subtopics in one project. Moving between workspaces is fairly simple and it's made my notes easier to understand. This means the app now saves a lot of storage on your device. Liquid Text still offers a pro version, which is a lifetime payment for most of its basic features. Its syncing across devices is a subscription feature. Another challenge with the subscription model of Liquid Text is that most of the big updates are now paid for if you're using the pro version. It makes Liquid Text expensive to use and keep, especially considering Margin Note has become cheaper over the years. The subscription in Margin Note is only for OCR. It is very cheap and optional, but everything else remains a one time purchase in the app. Though we've seen a lot of improvements in Liquid Text, they haven't come cheap. We also still hear a lot of crushing reports and failed syncing, which makes it very difficult for us to justify subscribing to the app if you're an individual. On a personal note, the concept in Liquid Text is one that I've been in love with since I first discovered the app. And that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.